Thomas? You seem particularly triggered right now. Can you tell me what happened? I've had dreams that weren't just dreams. Chegou a hora da gente reviver um dos filmes mais icônicos da história do cinema. Tá na hora de Matrix Resurrections. Am I crazy? We don't use that word in here. O quarto filme da franquia chega agora no cinema depois de mais de 20 anos. Eu sou a Valentina Bugarin e esse é o Inside Warner Matrix Resurrections. One pill makes you larger and one pill makes you small. Keanu Reeves está de volta com o nosso querido Neil, a Carrie Ann Moss está de volta com a maravilhosa Trinity. Então é claro que a gente aqui da Warner Channel não ia perder a oportunidade de conversar com um elenco tão maravilhoso. Hi. Have we met? What was the thing that brought most nostalgia to you? Uh, probably uh, Keanu. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have history, you know, doing these movies together, so it was like very nostalgic. How have you changed as an actor with Neo as well? Because it's been so long. Oh my gosh, have I changed? Um, I haven't. <laughs> Good. If you want the truth, Neo, you're going to have to follow me. It's very clear this is a new film. The tone is different. It's brighter. It's more colorful. It's less green than the original. Yeah, it's a it's a totally <laughs> new new beast. Go ask Alice when she's ten feet tall. Time to fly. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I love this version, of course, of Morpheus, but I want to know what were the things that you chose to keep in this version and which were the things that you definitely wanted to be different? Well, I think I wanted to keep the um, keep the, the integrity of that character, the groundedness, I think the the connection to uh, Neo and the and the the need to the need to awaken that that fire inside of him. The only thing that matters to you is still here. I know it's why you're still fighting. And why you will never give up. You don't know me. No? In terms of what I wanted to make different, you know, I think my Morpheus knew that the other Morpheus was a bit serious, you know, and so he, <laughs> I, th I, think, I think he wanted to have some fun. Still open. This, this. And you know, Carrie Ann Trinity is by far one of the greatest female characters we've seen on screen. Do you feel like you have taken something from Trinity as well? Oh, playing Trinity has given me a lot of different gifts, it has changed me as a person. I feel stronger for sure. I mean, that can be, you know, age as well. I mean, in terms of like this inner strength, but definitely Trinity has impacted me. I saw this in a dream. this you are Thomas psychiatrist with that look and those glasses did someone in the cast end up telling you personal stories about themselves <laughs> a little bit right I wish they did I guess the cat wrangler he shared some truths okay. with me deja vu is usually a glitch in the matrix Keanu, uh, besides the presence of a black cat again did you have any deja vus while on set Oh, deja vu. <laughs> yeah, yeah, some of the training and being directed by Lana Wachowski. Just her passion and a way cheerleading for art. Lana, she's she's the therapist to us all. Lana Wachowski's style is almost the antithesis of what it was. When the Wachowskis filmed the first three movies, they wanted everything to seem like it was not real. And now she wants everything to feel real in more of a spontaneous way. Being able to cultivate an environment, to be able to create and to try and do your best work. Lana was moving the camera operator around and changing things and try it this way. And it all felt very spontaneous. Ah! 
what moment in this movie do you think is going to become as iconic as Neo's bullet time scene the first Matrix? I know the spoilers are hard, but a moment, uh, something. I don't know. Lover's leap? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Up to the audience. Are you dodging the spoilers? Okay, that's okay. <laughs> I think if I say that, it'll be it'll be a little bit of a spoiler. There's a couple introductions of some pretty cool technology, you know, in this film, and hopefully those will be, uh, you know, some uh, pretty cool talked about moments. Different magic tricks, different practical effects, equally as exciting to see. special features of, of the Matrix franchise. You were showing how these choreographies were, were done and you said, we do it for the kids. Now, after 18 years, do you still feel like you do it for the kids? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know if I've seen that before and I don't know if I remember saying that, but what could I think that I meant? Yeah, we're doing it for the kids because I think there's something about play and that movie fighting and action is storytelling and that there has to be play in it. And it's playful to train and to do. As much as people think that entertainment, and this is not me taking myself too seriously, but it's the truth, I really feel it this way, that I think sometimes people think that entertainment and watching movies is like, oh yeah, I had popcorn and I had a great time watching this movie. But I think that entertainment has this amazing ability to mirror society and to mirror what's really happening and create conversations in a relaxed manner, which is very powerful. But this is the moment for you to show us what is real. The movie brings back that idea that a choice is an illusion. So what did you already know that obviously was going to happen when you got back to the set? That Thomas Anderson Neo would love Trinity. I knew that I would be stepping into something much larger than myself. It was very nostalgic. I think it'll be really interesting to see how this generation will um, receive this matrix and the concepts that are within this matrix. This generation is so used to technology, has a codependency yeah. with technology, has a relationship that is more friendly with technology and is not as scary as it used to be when I watched it. I was beyond pleased when I saw the final product and it was five times better than I had hoped. It was quite an amazing experience for sure. Resurrections chega agora aos cinemas, mas em breve você também vai poder assistir aí da sua casa. Não esquece de ficar ligado na Warner Channel e nas nossas redes sociais para não perder nenhuma novidade. Eu sou Valentina Pulgarim e esse foi o nosso Inside Warner Matrix Resurrections. After all these years, to be going back to where it all started, back to the Matrix. Matrix.